It's good, it's over. Harper! Oh! Let's see what they say. The basket is good. The Blazers have earned the victory. Arto Arena in Birmingham is not the kind of place where guests nor rivals are made to feel welcome. Bob Huggins Bearcats have dropped four straight on the Blazers' home floor, including this 70-68 loss two years ago before a record UAB crowd. But if the Bearcats are to notch their 20th win of the season tonight, they'll have to get that UAB monkey off their backs. From Birmingham, it's UC and UAB coming up next. Welcome to Bartow Arena in Birmingham, Alabama, the toughest place in the conference for Bob Huggins and the Bearcats to win. They'll look to snap their four-game losing streak here tonight against UAB. And a very pleasant good evening, everybody. I'm Dan Hoyt, and welcome to our coverage of Bearcat basketball here on Fox 19. Well, we begin our coverage tonight with some heartbreaking news. Earlier today, Bearcat senior Reuben Patterson was notified that his mother, Charlene, passed away this morning of a sudden heart attack. Coach Huggins gave Reuben the news at about 7.30 this morning, then later this morning at the team's shoot-around, sought to comfort his senior forward. Reuben has decided to play tonight. He says there's nothing his mother enjoyed more than watching him play basketball. He has dedicated tonight's game to her memory. Well, this ball game is very important for both teams. The Bearcats currently in second place in the American Division of Conference USA. They can move into a tie for first with UNC Charlotte with a win tonight. UAB is in second place in the National Division. And keep in mind that the top two teams in each division get a first round bye in the opening round of the Conference USA tournament. Working with me tonight, former UC standout Anthony Buford, who played on the only UC team to ever win a game in this arena. Why is this place so difficult for the Bearcats to win in? Well, I think there are two reasons why this place is tough to win in. The number one reason is the crowd noise. This place can get extremely loud. It's loud right now. And, and when the crowd, when this place is really packed, it's unbelievable to play in. And if you're a home team, you gotta love that. The other thing is, there's a dramatic seating angle in this arena, which I think opposing teams never really get accustomed to. A shoot around and a practice usually does not do it. You need more time to get accustomed to this arena. The last time the Bearcats played here and lost here, they had a record crowd. They're expecting a big crowd tonight, and they have gone to all sorts of lengths to get the fans fired up, most notably by handing out these as every fan entered the arena. Stay tuned, we'll be back with the starting lineups here on Fox 19. Welcome back to Birmingham. Let's get right to our McDonald's starting lineups, beginning with the Bearcats. Michael Horton, big time uh, defensive effort needed from him tonight as he will be going up against Cedric Dixon. And Bob Huggins hoping for a rare win in this facility. His all-time record here, one win and four defeats. Now a look at the UAB Blazers in second place in the National Division. They're 15 and 9 this season. As you can take a look at Cedric Dixon, he usually has big games against UC. 27, his last effort last year against UC. The Blazers coached by Murray Bartow, son of the legendary UAB coach Gene Bartow. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the start of the ball game here on Fox 19. Dan Hort and Anthony Buford back at Bartow Arena. Delighted to have you with us for tonight's game between the Bearcats and Blazers. Cincinnati trying to become the first team in Conference USA to win 20 games this season. And the opening tap batted a couple of times. And it's going to be out of bounds on UAB. It was tapped twice in the middle by Jackson of UAB. Dwayne Brown, a late addition to the starting lineup, tried to run it down at the sideline, and he carried it out of bounds. This is the 13th all-time meeting between these two schools. The all-time series tied at six. UAB has dominated in recent years, winning five of the last seven, including the last four here in Birmingham. 
The Bearcats are going to face a zone here early in this game and, and probably most of the night. UAB is, wants to force UC to shoot the jump shot. And they're going to lock up the inside and rebound the basketball. And you say from firsthand experience, this is a difficult place to shoot in because of the angle of the seats. A very sharp angle of seats behind the baskets, making for a difficult uh, visual for players trying to shoot the outside shot. Kenyon Martin shoots the inside shot and banks it home for Cincinnati's first bucket tonight. Good opening by the Bearcats as they push the ball inside and get an easy basket down low to begin the game. Dixon fires away and misses the three point shot. Ward with an offensive rebound for UAB. And sophomore Tory Ward ties the ball game at two. Tory Ward is a big time leaper. We all love Mel Levitt, but I tell you what. Ward can really sky as you saw him go after that rebound. They'll rebound the basketball offensively here tonight and the Bearcats have to block out. When Ward was a high school senior he won a statewide dunk contest in Alabama. Each team scoring on its first possession. Reuben Patterson knocks down the three pointer and Cincinnati leads five to two. Great start for the Bearcats two for two so far and it doesn't look like right now that the background is affecting these guys as they put up shots. Jackson wide open underneath and he slams it home. Kenyon Martin is trying to front Antonio Jackson. Martin fell away a bit and Jackson slammed it down. That's one thing we haven't seen you see get into is a, a real ry rhythm offensively or defensively in the last few games and right now both teams coming out executing very well. Patterson backing his man in great feed to Bobby Brandon who lays it in and Cincinnati has hit its first three shots. Damon Cobb looks to answer his three point shot is no good. Kenyon Martin had inside position and drew the over the back foul on Antonio Jackson. Good sign early for the Bearcats as the referees are calling it fairly close as you see the sweet drop off by Reuben Patterson. They're calling it close right now. Usually they let UAB play very physical in this building and UAB is known for just crushing its opponents on the offensive boards. Baker with the open three pointer. It's an air ball. Brandon had the offensive rebound but he stepped on the baseline. There there's an idea of how tough it is to shoot in this building as you don't see Baker shoot a jump shot and miss it at least a couple of feet short. Mm. Cincinnati on top 7 4. This is Ward. That's an air ball. Brown gets it inside. And Dwayne Brown, a 260 pound wide body, scores on the offensive boards. Early on, Bearcats being out rebounded on the offensive end, which could punish them late in this game. Patterson into the paint. He threw up an air ball. And it was saved inbounds by Tory Ward. Cedric Dixon, who has taken the Bearcats apart in his career, that's his first bucket tonight. He's averaging better than 20 points a game in four career games against UC. Yeah, Horton's going to have his work cut out for him tonight because Dixon, he can take you off the dribble and he can shoot the standstill three and has exceptional quickness. UAB has its first lead at 8 to 7. Patterson for three. Yes, sir. Ruben hits his first two three point attempts tonight. But Patterson looks like he's playing with the mission playing with the calls right now as, as he's knocking down jump shots and making nice passes playing solid right now. Dwayne Brown hands it back to Cedric Dixon. He had 27 points against the Bearcats last year in a lopsided UC win at the Shoemaker Center. He hit six three pointers in that game. And this is Dixon fakes the three bounces it down low to Brown. Gets Martin in the air, missed the shot, no whistle, and Kenyon Martin has the board. Brown had a perfect opportunity to draw a foul on Martin as he got him off his feet, but instead he went for the opening and blew the layup. With Reuben Patterson hitting three pointers, can UAB stay in the zone? Kenyon Martin misses inside. Reuben taps it to Brannon, and Bobby Brannon was fouled by Damon Cobb, his first. Bearcats crashing the offensive glass. Both teams rebounding the basketball will be a premium here tonight. And we have our first TV timeout. We'll take a break with 1548 left in the first half. The score, the Bearcats 10, the Blazers 8.
Senior Cedric Dixon has had a fine career at UAB. He's the ninth all-time scorer at the school, averaging about 11 points a game for his career, but he's much better than that against Cincinnati. Well, Cedric Dixon loves Cincinnati, and especially when they're ranked. He's put up three consecutive career highs against UC, and his, his ability to shoot off the dribble and, and his quickness just allows him to, to free himself up and just just hurt you from all angles and he just loves playing against the Bearcat not a big guy at five nine but as you mentioned outstanding quickness he gets off his shot and he has hit his shot against Cincinnati as I mentioned earlier six three pointers in last year's game at the shoe the Bearcats with the ball and a two point lead what a feed by Horton to Brandon well both teams shooting the basketball very well early in this game and that's that comes from good execution and soft defense. UAB counters with the outside shot and it's a 12 10 ball game. I think Brandon was surprised about that jump that jump shot from Brown as he looks toward the toward the bench like he's not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Second bucket of the game for Dwayne Brown who came in averaging 3.5 points. He already has four and the Blazers will get it right back. Reuben Patterson called for his first foul tonight. Well, Reuben Patterson's got to understand that when the ball gets close to that basket there's going to be several UAB Blazers coming to support their teammates. They really guard inside out very well. They'll double inside and then close out on shooters. Kenyon Martin anticipating the pass and stealing it. Cincinnati looking to add to a two point lead. I think that early air ball from a Dewan Baker has Caused him not to re even really look at the basket. We'll see if he can get himself on track. Well, if Dewan is not a threat to shoot, he doesn't add much to the Cincinnati lineup. That is certainly his forte. Patterson with another good look to Kenyon Martin, and Martin's hacked on the arm by Antonio Jackson. That'll be Jackson's second foul. Good quick look by Patterson as as he uses the bounce and jump step and real quickly drops off the pass creating a foul. Kenyon Martin headed to the foul line and we'll remind you that for every free throw the Bearcats make this season it means a fifty dollar donation to the gift of hope challenge thanks to Provident Bank and the Arthritis Foundation. Kenyon's first free throw rolls off the rim. Kenyon only hitting 40 percent of his free throws this season coming in. He had made 23 of 58. Well, it almost becomes a situation where when you throw him the basketball down low you take a foul and take a chance on him missing the free throws. He missed them both and Bobby Brandon knocked it out of bounds. Thirty six year old Murray Bartow in his second year as head coach here at UAB after being an assistant under his father Gene for seven seasons. He was also an assistant at Indiana under Bob Knight the last time the Hoosiers won a national championship. And a push off foul on Dwayne Brown his first. Dwayne Dwayne Brown crashing the building excuse me crashing the, the backboard right there and just got caught pushing too many players out of the way. Cincinnati by two 12 10 with 13 51 left in the first half Horton penetrating acrobatic shot no good tipped up by Brandon no good Brown has the rebound for UAB now Ward looks to push it up the floor Ward knocking over Dewan Baker and Baker is called for the block that was a good call by the official there as Baker was was still moving as Ward left the floor and you can't do that he gives him a nice inside out with the left hand and Goes into a shot. Baker moving a little bit. Picks up the foul. Tory Ward from Birmingham hits the first free throw and he has three points tonight. Tory Ward, that's his game. Open court. Very explosive in the open court game. Ward averaging six points a game. Made the first, missed the second. The Bearcats continue to lead, albeit by one point.
Martin at the foul line to Baker. Again, Baker really not looking to shoot much. Brannon goes up strong and scores, and Bobby Brannon has six points. Well, it looks like the Bearcats are making a concerted effort to jam the ball inside. Dixon misses the three. Reuben Patterson had the rebound, says he was pushed, but he's called for traveling. He's not going to get that call here in this building on the road. Nice, strong rebound. Great effort there. But you got to come down on the solid with a solid base and position yourself to, to protect the basketball. And he was unable to do that as there were three UAB Blazers around him. Both teams making substitutions. Mel Levitt into the ball game for the first time tonight with Dewan Baker taking a seat. Willie Mitchell has come in for UAB along with Leandrew Bass. Willie Mitchell, a Michigan transfer. He was Mr. Basketball in Michigan. Spent two years with the Wolverines. Sat out last year as a transfer and is in the UAB lineup this year for the first time. Bass, tough shot underneath, and he scores. He deserves that basket as he worked hard for position, and then he just stayed patient, stayed with the basketball. The shot attempt was able to get it to go. And it's a one-point ball game again. Patterson looking for his third three-pointer. The shot was no good. Willie Mitchell with a rebound for UAB. Willie Mitchell is capable of cleaning the glass. He had 15 rebounds in a game once at Michigan. That is Ward hitting the corner jump shot, and Torrey Ward has five early points. Torrey, Wer Torrey Ward, very live and explosive early in this game, playing very comfortably. Horton with a rare outside shot. That's why they're rare, as he missed everything. Bass leaving it for Williams. Williams' layup is no good. Kenyon Martin gets the rebound for Cincinnati. And Murray Bartow is hot in front of the UAB bench. Wow, this, this place gets really, really loud. It's one thing the Bearcats are going to have to do is execute and take good shots because if they let the crowd get into this game and let UAB get off into the races, this could be a long night. Levitt's first shot attempt is no good. Here comes UAB's Bass pushing the ball. Gives it to Ward. Some contact underneath. No whistle. And Bobby Brandon has the rebound for Cincinnati. And Ward, who went up high trying to make that shot, remains on the ground hurt. UAB right now attacking the offensive glass and pushing the basketball on the Bearcats. They love to do that. As the UAB medical trainer comes out to take a look at Ward, we have a timeout with 11.39 remaining in the first half. Our score here at Bartow Arena, the Blazers 15, the Bearcats 14. This season, Provident Bank and the Arthritis Foundation have teamed up with the Bearcats to help children with arthritis through the Gift of Hope Challenge. Every time a Bearcat player makes a free throw, Provident Bank will donate $50 to the Gift of Hope, which provides programs and services to benefit children with arthritis throughout southwestern Ohio and northern Kentucky. Well, we're at Bartow Arena in Birmingham, Alabama tonight. UAB has enjoyed quite a home court advantage over the years at this facility. And as we take a look at how UC has done at the Shoemaker Center in nine years and compare it to how UAB has done in 10 years here at Bartow Arena, the numbers are remarkably similar. Cincinnati with 120 home wins, UAB with 118. The winning percentage is 86 to 84. Only six schools have won two or more games here at Bartow Arena and Cincinnati is not among them. The Bearcats one in four all time in this building. Marquette is the one school that has consistently done well here. Marquette's four and one at this place. Levitt shoots from the outside and Mel Levitt hits a three pointer. Cincinnati's third three so far in this ball game and for every three point shot the Bearcats make Montgomery Inn's proud to donate one hundred dollars to the Cincinnati free store. You know, one reason why Marquette has done well in this building is because they can play the style of play that UAB forces you to play in this building. Willie Mitchell missed the jump shot. Reuben Patterson with a strong side rebound for UC. You'll, you'll see here that UAB wants to force you to take outside shots. They'll lock up the box and then push the fast break on you. And Ruben Patterson says, go ahead and force me to take an outside shot. He has three three-pointers, and that's a season high for the senior from Cleveland. 
Well, if you shoot well in this building, you have a chance to win because you, you now have to force UAB to come out and pick you up man to man, which they don't want to do. Leandrew Bass, a freshman from Birmingham. His shot is no good, and Kenyon Martin goes up and over Fred Williams to grab the rebound. Levitt for three. In and out, rebounded by Mitchell. Bearcats Since have to be careful not to fall in love with that jump shot. Dixon, that's a two-point shot. Melvin Levitt is there for the rebound. Cincinnati leads by five. We've played about ten minutes here at Bartow Arena. Well, so far, Cincinnati has been able to get a hand up in Dixon's face and force him to take a tough shot, tough jump shots, and that's why he hasn't converted from the outside yet. Myrick for three. Cincinnati has five three-pointers in the first half. Murray Bartow wants a timeout. Well, as long as the Bearcats can keep knocking down outside jump shots, it helps them because now they slow down the fast breaks that UAB likes to employ after a missed jump shot out of that zone. Coming into this game, these two teams were similar in their three-point shooting ability. Cincinnati at 36%, UAB at 35%. But so far in this ball game, the Bearcats have five threes. The Blazers yet to hit one. Exactly. As we take a look here at, at Michael Horton, he's going to be key here tonight because you, you got to keep it. You got to keep Dixon from shooting the basketball well and his defensive effort. He may not score a lot. He may not do a whole lot offensively, but defense is what the Bearcats are going to need from from Horton tonight. Getting back to the shooting, Bearcats lighting it up on one end and getting the hand up because they're playing good man to man defense, getting a hand in the face of the UAB shooters. Cincinnati five of eight from three point range. UAB is 0 for three. Cobb guarded by Patterson. Cobb is from Evansville, Indiana. And his dad played football at the University of Kentucky. That jump shot no good. The rebound batted by Matterich to Brannon. Myrick with the alley-oop. Jammed home by Reuben Patterson, who has 11 points already. Now Reuben Patterson points upstairs. That dunk was for Mom. Kenyon Martin with his second steal of the game. Patterson is open for three. Shot came up short. Williams with a rebound for UAB. If you weren't with us at the start of the telecast tonight, Ruben's mother, Charlene, passed away of a sudden heart attack early this morning. Ruben was given the news at about 7.30 today and decided he wanted to play tonight, saying that that's what his mother enjoyed most, watching him play basketball. In fact, Ruben's dream has always been to make it to the NBA and buy his mom a new house. Bank shot by Willie Mitchell is good, and the junior from Detroit is on the scoreboard. Bobby, a little upset right there, thought that was a charge. Thought he had pretty solid position there as Mitchell bowled him over. Not going to get that call here on the road. Brandon getting great position inside, and Bobby lays it in. He has eight points, and Cincinnati leads by 10. Can't let Bobby Brandon walk you into the paint and post you two feet away from the basket. Patterson stealing it from Moderich. He races up court to get to the ball and lays it in. Ruben has 13 points. Cincinnati up by 12. Ruben Patterson on a mission was not going to be denied after that basketball right there. And he just ran it down and was able to convert on the other end as he got control of himself. Cobb steps into two point range shoots and misses and there is Patterson for the rebound. Having one of his finest games of the season so far doing it all offensively assisting shooting the basketball and rebounding defensively. Myrick trying to feed it inside to Brandon. The pass tipped away, and here comes UAB. Cobb cross court to Mitchell. Mitchell off the glass. The shot is good, and the foul is on Kenyon Martin. Kenyon Martin arriving a little bit too late, stuck his arms up, and in doing so, committed the foul, as that was a, a chance for him to lay off and hopefully go for the block. Instead, he challenged Mitchell, ended up picking the foul. Picking up the foul. First foul on Kenyon Martin, who has only fouled out of three games this year. He's done a nice job at staying out of foul trouble for the most part. Murray Bartow bringing three substitutes into the ball game. And there is Mr. Basketball from Michigan a few years back, Willie Mitchell. His free throw is no good. 
Well, Kenyon, Kenyon Martin brings so much to this basketball team when he's able to stay out of foul trouble because it makes it virtually impossible to score down low. Ryan Fletcher just into the ball game travels and we have a timeout. Cincinnati getting great outside shooting thus far and terrific all around play from that guy Ruben Patterson 646 left in the half. It's the Bearcats 29 it's the Blazers 19. Dan Hort and Anthony Buford back in Birmingham where Ruben Patterson has dedicated tonight's game to the memory of his mother Charlene and he's playing like a man on a mission so far. Absolutely not to be denied and he's playing with the purpose and when you get a man like with his talents playing with the purpose that's what he can do to you. 13 early points for Ruben Patterson he's also pulled down three rebounds. We certainly pass along our prayers and condolences to Ruben and the rest of the Patterson family. I know he has an older sister and a younger brother. Difficult time for Ruben Patterson and his family and it's uh, good to see that he is off to a fantastic start tonight because he said before the ball game he knows his mom is watching and really wanted to put on a show. It's interesting Coach Huggins is going to use Myrick and Horton to shadow Dixon keep a fresh body on him and make it difficult for him to get his team into the offense and into the flow of this game. Ward who was hurt earlier is back into the ball game now Jackson with the offensive rebound and the foul is going to go against Cincinnati Kenyon Martin picking up his second no bucket on the play and Kenyon will uh, lead the action with Bobby Brannon coming back in. Well, the Bearcats are leading in the rebounding department in this game so far. But I tell you what, if they continue to give up offensive boards like that, they could have some problems later in this game. Jackson with a tough shot, and he banks it home. Antonio Jackson has two field goals, and Cincinnati's lead is down to eight. Very physical game down low as, as Jackson just banged into Fletcher and. and They'll play very physical in this building and really go after you and try and force you into mistakes and, and try and frustrate you. Levitt for three. Cincinnati's sixth three pointer in the first half. Well, Levitt, he's he's not thinking one minute about shooting that basketball. He's catching it and letting it go. Jackson's shot is no good and a good job by Levitt to keep the ball away from the taller Mitchell. Now it's Baker for three. His shot's no good and rebounded by Tory Ward. Fletcher nearly came up with a steal. Mitchell got it back for the Blazers. Patterson will check back in shortly for Cincinnati. The Bearcats leading by 11. Their biggest lead has been 12. Baker looked a little tentative on that jump shot attempt down at the other end. Not very definitive in going up with his shot like Patterson and Levitt. Five minutes left in the half. Cincinnati up 32 to 21. Brown with a strong drive and a pushing foul against Cincinnati. Ryan Fletcher picking up his first. Well, one official called a pushing foul, which would have been on Bobby Brandon. The other official, which had the other angle, called the blocking foul on on uh, Fletcher, which was what. I think the charge was probably the right call but Brennan caused the whole thing by pushing Brown into him. The ultimate call was on Fletcher his first. This is Brown who sees his first free throw go in and out. Brown a junior college transfer from a J.C. in Mississippi. Murray Bartow has built a strong talent base this year largely through transfers and junior college pickups. He has picked up some good talent from big time programs who have sought to transfer Willie Mitchell who we featured tonight came from Michigan Fred Williams is recruited by UNLV originally a UNLV signee and there's a look at Reuben Patterson sneakers tonight his mom of course named Charlene and you can see some of the messages that Reuben has written on his shoes this evening Brown received a second uh, extra free throw and made it. It's a 10 point Cincinnati lead. Well UAB at one time shooting very well from the free throw line as a team over 70 percent. But as of late they've struggled from the free throw line. Levitt's three pointer is no good rebounded and pushed by Cedric Dixon. He spins into Horton fires up a two point shot. Cedric Dixon has his second basket of the game. 
Great control by Cedric Dixon, able to avoid the charge. Little baby spin move right there and rise into the jump shot. Very good at creating for himself. Patterson driving baseline against Mitchell. Beautiful shot by Ruben Patterson, who has 15 points in the first half. That's one below his average. Well, that's the move that Patterson's gonna, gonna need in this game right here. As he penetrates towards the baseline, he's gotta be able to shoot the short jump shot. Horton leaving it for Levitt. Levitt's shot is no good. Bobby Brannon fighting for the offensive board, knocked it out of bounds. Juan Baker will check back in for Cincinnati, and we have a timeout with 3.59 left in the first half. It's been all Cincinnati so far. The Bearcats lead the Blazers 34-24. Three fifty nine left in the half here in Birmingham Alabama Cincinnati up by ten and as we take a look at our four game summary look at the three point field goal Cincinnati getting 18 points from three point range UAB zip. Well, so far Cincinnati is saying we can shoot anywhere and they're knocking down three shooting over 50 percent Patterson having a big game so far three three of those 19 rebounds that the Bearcats have. Bank shot a little bit strong by Jackson rebounded by Patterson. Myrick fakes the three. They swing it to Levitt. The alley oop for Patterson. Ruben stays down, but it looks like he'll be okay. Cobb pushing the ball up the floor for UAB. Dwayne Brown passing to Ward. Ward goes up and misses the shot. Tipped up and in. We'll see who gets credit for UAB. In all likelihood, Antonio Jackson, and that is the case. He has six points in the first half to lead the Blazers. Little token pressure here by the Blazers as they'll see if the Bearcats can handle the basketball and force a quick shot. A lot of contact underneath. Mel Levitt very angry there was no whistle. The ball ultimately knocked out of bounds by Cincinnati. Well that's two times down the court. Patterson knocked down the play earlier and Levitt knocked down right there. The play is going to get very physical as you can see UAB attacking the basket aggressive play when you offensive rebound and play very physical defensively that's a sign of aggressive play Cobb hits UAB's first three pointer of this ball game Damon Cobb the leading returning three point shooter in conference USA this year making 40 percent last year. Patterson lays it up and lays it in. Ruben with 17 in the first half. Explosive and unstoppable in the open court like that. He faked the pass and I thought he was going to throw it down with thunder, but instead he lays it up. Cincinnati by seven. Brown inside over Patterson. The shot is no good. Myrick had the rebound. Jackson not only landed on him, but nearly crushed him. Jackson picks up his third personal. But Murray Bartow doesn't mind fouls like that. As you can see, Jackson comes crashing in for the offensive board, and Murray Bartow, he doesn't, he doesn't mind fouls like that because he wants his guys playing aggressive, going after the basketball. Aggressively, perhaps, but that is number three on Antonio Jackson, who has been the Blazers' most effective inside guy. That certainly hurts him down low as as he secured offensive rebounds and has has put up some pretty good post moves and and scored on the Bearcats inside. 208 left in the half. Levitt scores inside. Mel Levitt with his first two point bucket of the game. He has eight points. Wow, just explosive in the paint. He caught that basketball one dribble and it was up where no one could get to it. UAB pulled within five. Now Cincinnati has pushed the lead back to nine. Ward loses it out of bounds. Cincinnati gets it with 146 left in the half. Well, UAB is running a, a flex offense right now. The Bearcats really jamming up all the screens on the baseline. You can see offensively the Bearcats being very patient, and here comes the helicopter mm. exploding. If you want to see the helicopter in action, we encourage you to stay tuned at halftime. Mel Levitt will review his all-time favorite dunks. We have Mel's personal top five coming up at the half. It's very enjoyable. Stay tuned. One big reason the Bearcats leading early in this game, leading rebounds and six turnovers only. Playing very well and taking care of the basketball. Six seconds left on the shot clock for UC. Fletcher with a head fake. Two seconds on the shot clock. Fletcher's shot is no good. 
And it's knocked out of bounds by Bobby Brannon. 109 left in the half. When there's contact on all loose balls, the opponent, the opposing team in this building does not get the call. As Fletcher had to force up a shot because of the shot clock, and Bobby Brandon tipping it around, goes after the ball, and he's put on the floor by Cedric Dixon, and there's no call. Myron Ransom for three. In and out, rebounded by Patterson, who in addition to his 17 points, has had a good half on the boards. Forty three seconds left in the half twenty three seconds left on the shot clock for Cincinnati at one point the Bearcats were leading rebounds 17 to 10 UAB has closed that gap It's now 22 to 17 Bearcats favor 10 seconds left on the shot clock Patterson going one on one against Ward and he is fouled Ruben got hacked on the arm he was not in the act of shooting I don't believe and uh, it's only the sixth team foul on UAB so if it's a not considered a sh shooting situation well, Cincinnati is lining up for free throws so apparently that was ruled a shooting situation for Patterson and he'll go to the line to shoot too. Well Patterson created that whole situation with the hesitation dribble as he allowed the defenders to make a decision and then he made his decision forcing them to reach in and create the foul as he created an angle to the basket. Ruben's first free throw is good 18 points in the first half for the senior from John Hay High School in Cleveland the number four rated small forward in the country according to the sporting news at the start of the season Ruben hits them both 19 and a half his career high accomplished twice is 27 ironically both of those 27 point performances coming on Super Bowl Sunday each of the last two years. Well, at this pace, he'll eclipse the 27 easily. And that is a foul on Cincinnati with seven seconds left in the half. Dwan Baker charged for his second personal. Now, that was clearly not a shooting situation. Only the sixth team foul on Cincinnati. So UAB has to inbound with seven seconds left in the half. Cobb off a pick. His three-point shot is good as he's fouled by Baker. Baker commits two errors late in this game as he fouls Dixon, who luckily he was not shooting because Dixon is the best free throw shooter on this team. And then he fouls Cobb, who is really desig a designated three-point man. As you see, he comes off the screen. Nice screen set by Ransom and knocks down the tray. Really a silly foul by Dewan Baker. Cobb hitting his second three-pointer. The only two threes in the first half for UAB. He makes it a four point play, and it's a seven point Cincinnati lead with six seconds left in the half. UAB will pick up full court. I thought we'd see a, see a little bit of token pressure to force the Bearcats to use some time. Myrick with two seconds left in the half. His shot no good. Cincinnati will go to the locker room up by seven. Well, Bearcats so far dominating the offensive glass, taking care of the basketball, and shooting the lights out, and that's why they carry a seven-point lead at this time. That man has been sensational. Reuben Patterson with 19 points in the first half. He's been the biggest difference as the Bearcats try to end a streak of four straight losses in this building. Our halftime score, Cincinnati 40, UAB 33. Anyone who's watched Cincinnati basketball over the last few years probably has a favorite helicopter highlight. Mel Levitt has 35 dunks in his UC career, and recently we asked him to pick his favorite five. Southern Cal was uh, value from Dame of Flint on the right side of the floor. I feel like I jumped off a trampoline and I jumped so high to catch the ball and looked at it and my head was near a rim and I can remember holding on to the rim and doing a little chin up. Dewan Baker, bullet pass from half court, uh, jumped, dunked the right end and caught the ball before it and even come back out of the rim and hit the floor at the same time. Houston, straight down the middle, Dominique Wilkins, Tomahawk style, in your face, Jam City baby, ESPN plays of the week. You know, 
I told Ryan Fletcher on the bench that I was gonna do a windmill dunk for my first dunk, and with three seconds left on the clock, here I am doing a windmill dunk to ice the game. And just ran crazy, and I think I tackled the Bearcat and knocked him down a little bit, but I was too excited to even care. All time best one against the Alcorn State. Dewan Baker misses a three pointer. I jumped from the right hand side, took it from the dots, jump with one hand, catch it with my right hand on the left hand side of the rim over Bobby and uh, one of the Alcorn players. And I remember doing a 360 spin off the rim, running down the floor to scream my head off. I'm glad he chose that one as his all-time favorite because we definitely agree. Absolutely. That was pure bounce to ecstasy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Mel with eight points in the first half of this ball game. Cincinnati with a seven-point lead, 40 to 33, and the Bearcats have the basketball to begin the second half. Mel Levitt getting the start here in the second half as Baker committed two late second half errors landed him on the bench with three personal fouls and Dewan did not score in the first half Reuben Patterson with a tough shot well off the mark Kenyon Martin fighting for the offensive rebound but it goes to Tory Ward instead Brown inside and he goes up and over Kenyon Martin Kenyon not wanting to pick up his third foul and Brown scores to make it a five point ball game well, Kenyon Martin it, in order to stay in this game has got to fight for position a little better than that so that he doesn't give up the easy basket like that because he's not going to really go after shots. Levitt passing up the three pointer now he shoots for two goes after his own miss and it's out of bounds off Bobby Brannon. Again Bearcats are going to really have to secure the rebound because there aren't going to be many calls especially in this second half as the physical play under the basket will pick up. We're well short of a full house tonight here at Bartow Arena but the fans that are here are noisy and they are looking to go wild if the Blazers can make a run. Brown inside rejected by Martin his first block of this game. Kenyon leading the conference in block shots that's an air ball Patterson has the rebound. Well Kenyon Martin was in perfect position right there as as the help man on the weak side and he just timed that shot by Brown. Bearcats a little surprised by the man to man but UAB needs to pick up the pressure to get themselves back into this game. Patterson going up strong to score and Ruben has 21 points. We get a look at that explosive first step that Dick Vitale talked about. Williams counters with a short jump shot. Fred's on the board. First points of the game for the UNLV signee before first heading to junior college and then UAB. Well, both teams starting off executing very well early in the second half, similar to the first half performance. Horton trying to give it back to Bobby Brandon. Here's a two on one opportunity. Patterson with a great steal. Up court to Horton. Horton lost control but Patterson gets it and Ruben scores he has 23 points that was great great transition defense by Patterson as he just timed the dribble pick Ward off forced the fast break and then recovered the loose ball for the score he's everywhere instead of cutting the difference to three UAB sees it go back to seven and we're going to have a foul on Kenyon Martin his third but you can't play tentative in the game of basketball. You have to go out and play aggressive if that's the way you play the basketball game. And, and you'll pick up nitpick fouls all the time when you're playing real tentative. And that's just what happened to Martin right there. UAB to inbound after Kenyon picked up his third. Ryan Fletcher checking in for Kenyon Martin. Here is Williams. And he hits his second short jumper of the second half again. Cincinnati's lead is down to five. Fletcher just let just let Williams take him off the dribble right there backed away from him and Williams gave him a nice crossover move to the baseline and floated a nice shot up on Fletcher Brandon spinning shooting and scoring Bobby is in double figures he has 10 points nice move by Bobby as he uses the defender as a, a spinning wall as he bounces off of him he hits his spin move right into the jump shot 
Bobby had seven rebounds in the first half, so he is closing in on another double-double. This is Williams looking for his third bucket of the second half, and I believe Fletcher got a piece. Nice, strong drive to the basket, but Williams has got to flush those around the trees of UC. Patterson guarded by Ward. Now it's Levitt. Brannon. Dixon tries to steal it. Horton inside, and Michael Horton scores. Nice, strong, strong basket right there by Horton. He went hard to the basket and used the rim as a shield as he put up the reverse layup. Michael's first points of the game. Offensive foul on UAB. And a technical foul on Murray Bartow. Murray Bartow very unhappy with with that charge call and that probably goes back to the first half when Tory Ward took a hard fall. Bartow was extremely upset with that call and he's been on the referees about calling blocking fouls on the Bearcats. So that that particular play right there just set him off. Bobby Brandon to shoot the technical free throws. He makes the first. Bobby an 84 percent free throw shooter this season. He has 11 points in this ball game. And by knocking down those two free throws, it's a $100 donation to the Gift of Hope Challenge, thanks to Provident Bank and the Arthritis Foundation. 15-58 left in this ball game. We have a break in the action with Cincinnati leading UAB 50-39. Welcome back to Birmingham. Dan Hort and Anthony Buford with you this evening. Delighted to have you watching our coverage of Bearcat basketball on Fox 19. Cincinnati playing its final road game of the regular season. Three home games left, and realistically, the Bearcats are hoping to play six straight games at the shoe. The three regular season games, and then, they hope, three games in the Conference USA tournament. The Bearcats would obviously like to uh, finish out that portion of the uh, schedule for the Conference USA Tournament Championship. The Charlotte game is something they've probably been tagging ever since they absorbed the loss a couple of weeks ago. Patterson missing the three-point attempt. Levitt leaping to make the steal. Up court to Patterson. Ruben will jam. 25 for Ruben Patterson. And with one more bucket, He'll equal his career high. And I think Mel Levitt was just was a little bit more excited than Patterson was on that dunk as he jumped up to help Patterson dunk that one. Dixon for three, and he gets the roll. Cedric Dixon making his first three-pointer of the ball game. He has a total of seven points. Cincinnati has a 10-point lead. Cedric Dixon can run off a spree of points real quick. They'll get right back in this game if he finds his touch. Dangerous pass by Fletcher. Cobb wasn't quick enough to steal it. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Cincinnati leading by ten. Nice fake by Brannon. And Bobby banks it home. He has 14 points. Great patience by the Bearcats. And Bobby Brannon with a solid move. Pump fake right by his man. Easy basket. Williams answers with a jump shot. Fred Williams has made three jumpers in the second half. Fred Williams three for four here in the second half. He's come out on fire and it's been impressive so far early in this get in the second half. A 6'8 junior from New York City. Patterson faking the three, feeding Fletcher, and Ryan lays it in. Excellent vision by Patterson as he picked up this dribble, faked the, the wing pass, and drilled one down the middle to a cutting Fletcher. Now it's Williams with a nice pass, and Jackson will go to the line to shoot two. Ryan Fletcher guilty of an obvious foul, his second. Mel Levitt picked up a nice steal and fed his Cleveland buddy for the jam. Big time here in UAB. Bartow Arena. Antonio Jackson's free throw is good. He's a 63% foul shooter. He has a total of seven points in the game. Damon Cobb leads the action and 
True freshman Leandro Bass comes back in for UAB. Jackson hits them both. And the Bearcats lead is 10 as Dwayne Brown comes back in. Well, Fletcher got caught in that particular defensive play where he was trying to block out as he thought Williams was going into his shot. Picked up the foul. Thirteen forty left in the game. Cincinnati trying to improve to twenty and five as Horton soars and scores. <laughs> well, Horton giving Dixon a little bit of his own mess uh, medicine as he gives him the, the crossover and then the double pump layup with three defenders on him. Dixon with a tough three pointer and he nails it. Smart move by Murray Barto as he brings in Leandro Bass to run the point and he moves Dixon to the two guard so he can get some shots off. At 5-9, Dixon looks like he should be a point guard, but he's actually been more effective as a two guard in his career. Bass with a bounce pass to Brown, gets it back to Bass. Cincinnati by nine. Dixon blocked by Patterson. Dixon gets it back. And his shot is no good, but he will go to the line. It's quite surprised that Dixon was that wide open to begin with. Patterson makes a great defensive play, blocks the shot as he comes from the baseline. But Dixon, ever after the basketball in that, in that bucket, takes it in among the trees and draws a foul. Bob Huggins wants a 20-second timeout. The decibel level in this place is incredible. <laughs> in addition to having active fans here and a fairly good crowd tonight, not full by any stretch of the imagination, they have two huge speakers on either side of the press table to pump up the volume. Once again, we get a look at Reuben Patterson sneakers with various messages to his mom, Charlene. I miss you, mom. I love you, mom. And boy, he has certainly played brilliantly tonight as he has dedicated this game to her memory. Reuben with 25 points thus far as he looks to surpass his career high of 27. Well, this is a dangerous moment in the game as, as UAB has uncorked Dixon and he's he's kind of gotten into a row and he can score in bunches big time bunches he's a 78 percent free throw shooter but he misses his first attempt tonight Blazers only down nine that's three trips for Dixon and the second free throw is good Cedric Dixon with 11 points that is his career scoring average long pass to Patterson slam dunk Good vision by Horton as, as Patterson slips behind the press, able to pick up an easy basket. Dixon looks to answer. His three-pointer is no good. Rebounded by Willie Mitchell. A check that. Myron Ransom, and Ransom is fouled. He'll shoot two. Bearcats not blocking out as Ransom sneaks along the baseline, picks off that rebound, and up strong with it for the foul. See Patterson sneaking behind the defense, and it's throwdown city as he salutes mom and equals his career high with 27 points that does not include the season opening exhibition game against athletes in action Ruben had 35 points ransom misses the free throw Myron ransom a freshman from Birmingham yet to score in tonight's ball game this is uncharacteristic of UAB to miss free throws they've slipped down as a team to 61 percent uh, in the last seven ball games so they're they've been struggling as a team and you can't get back into a, a basketball game when you can't score with the clock stop the lead is nine with about 12 minutes to go Ryan Fletcher picked up the last foul by the way it was his third Levitt for three the shots no good the rebound goes to Bobby Brannon closing in on his ninth double double of the season but when you sit in the zone it's you have to it's tough to get match up your block out assignments and if the ball comes off long you offense usually gets it Patterson's three pointer is no good 
And the foul is on Bobby Brannon. His first. Bobby Brandon working hard under the basket, trying to get some rebounds. But when you're shooting three point jump shots against the zone, you got long rebounds, and a lot of times guards can sneak in and pick off those rebounds. UAB counts on the ball dropping in, in that painted area where they've just established a fortress. Williams misses the jump shot. Willie Mitchell had the rebound. Bobby Brandon hustles to get it, and it goes to Ransom. Williams stepped on the baseline. Cincinnati gets the ball. Dewan Baker set to check back in. First, a timeout. 11:32 left in the ball game. Cincinnati by nine. UAB has had an outstanding program for nearly two decades, and the man responsible is the current athletic director, Gene Bartell. He was a head college basketball coach for 34 years, racked up 647 victories, and did an amazing job in building this program. He started it 19 years ago. Since that point, the school has averaged 21 wins a season. In his third year, in starting up a brand new program, he had UAB in the Sweet 16. He is a remarkable coach. His son Murray has done an excellent job since taking over last year. Gene, one of just a few coaches to coach two different teams to the Final Four. He did it with Memphis State in 73 and then UCLA in 76. He was the man who replaced John Wooden. Bearcats receiving a little token pressure by UAB. Make them use some time so that they can't really get into their offense very easily. Fletcher from the corner, his shot is no good, and once again, Bobby Brannon called for going over the back of Dwayne Brown, his second personal foul. And that's Cincinnati's sixth team foul. One more foul puts UAB in the bonus. With 11 minutes to go in the second half, that'll be big. Cincinnati by nine with 11 minutes left in the game. Andrew Bass working the point. Mitchell for three. Willie Mitchell, a six foot eight junior, drills a three pointer. Well, that was a nice play right there as they ran Dixon off a double screen on the baseline. Willie Mitchell pops out, knocks down the tray. Trey brought the crowd back into this game. It's a six point ball game. Brandon's jump shot in and out. Fletcher with the offensive rebound. And the uh, Bearcats will start up the offense again with a fresh, a fresh 35 seconds on the shot clock. Big rebound by Fletcher. Able to give Cincinnati another shot at scoring here to take this crowd out of the game. Really only two guys looking to score, and that's Patterson and Brandon. Baker still has not scored in the ball game. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Baker to the corner, elevates. Count the bucket, he'll go to the line for the three-point play. Nice strong move by Baker as he took the initiative, put the ba basketball on the floor. And, and he absorbed the contact by Bass able to still knock down the jump shot. Leandro Bass called for his first personal. Dewan Baker, an 85% free throw shooter, completes the three-point play, and that free throw means another $50 donation to the Gift of Hope Challenge thanks to Provident Bank and the Arthritis Foundation. Bass will be very creative with the basketball, and he'll look for his running mate Dixon for a jump shot. Dixon kicks it back to Bass. Horton doing a very good job fighting through screens to prevent Dixon from getting wide open looks. Ransom's three pointer is no good. Ryan Fletcher with a rebound for UC. I gave credit to Willie Mitchell, number 33, for that last three point bucket. It was actually number 13, Myron Ransom. Good call, good call. Bearcats would love to see Ransom taking all the jump shots instead of Dixon. Ryan Fletcher delivering a jump shot, and Cincinnati's lead is back to 11. It's a lot different building to play in when the crowd is sitting on their hands like they are right now. The Bearcats in every rally attempt has taken them out. Patterson with a steal and the slam. Oh, oh, 
goes. He goes upstairs big time. Picks off the steal and wow. A new career high 29 points for Reuben Patterson. A foul was called at the end of this play as Ransom made marginal contact but was called for the foul. Reuben will attempt to complete the three point play and if he does he'll have his first 30 point game as a Bearcat. Great defense anticipating the pass and then he just goes upstairs. Puts the Jordan on his neck. He wears number 23 for Michael Jordan. He's put 30 points on the board tonight. And just like that, Cincinnati has pushed the lead to 14. Reuben Patterson getting a new career high. Shooting extremely well from the field. Having a Jordan-esque type game. UAB has called a 20-second timeout. As Murray Barto wonders what happened. His team was on a run. The crowd was into the ball game, and just like that, Cincinnati has scored eight straight points to take a 14-point lead. Well, the Blazers, they feed off their leader, Dixon. When he gets on the roll, they become very tough to play. They, they become extremely aggressive going after offensive rebounds and just attacking you offensively and defensively. When he's taken out of the game, they are a totally different team. And so far, Horton has shut him out, letting him score in just small spurts, but not letting him get on the roll. The last time the Bearcats played here, they drew a record crowd at Barto Arena, more than 9,000 tonight, 7,185 the official attendance. We're told that there's a big wrestling event in town tonight, Thursday Thunder, and that might help account for why more than 2,000 fewer fans are here tonight. That was the case two years ago when the Bearcats came to town ranked third in the country and were knocked off by the Blazers. Now Horton has a different assignment now, and that's to prevent Cobb from knocking off, the, knocking down three-point shots. Brown follows his miss, not once, but twice, and scores. It's a 12-point game. Well, that was Brown against the Bearcats right there as he put up the shot and tipped it up twice as no one from Cincinnati's team was able to get a body on him and keep him off the glass. Fletcher might have gotten away with a travel there. It looked like he shuffled his feet. No whistle. There's the killer crossover by Horton. Count the bucket. He'll go to the line. Mick Moriarty, that play belongs to you as Horton just too strong. Too much weight room right there. He gives him the crossover and Cobb, he just can't take the shoulders of Horton as he lays that big 200 pound frame into him for the easy basket plus the foul. There aren't many point guards in the country who bench 300 pounds. Michael Horton is among them and he has seven points all in the second half of this game. Horton extremely strong likes to play inside with the big boys and and when when you go inside against guys that are a foot taller than you you have to have some strength. The 15 point lead is Cincinnati's biggest. Willie Mitchell's jump shot is no good. The rebound goes to Brown. Dwayne Brown in the paint. And the foul is on Cincinnati. Sean Myrick will pick up his first. Well, Willie Brown just crashing the boards, which he picks up his third offensive rebound in two possessions. Willie Mitchell is out of Pershing High School in Detroit. He played with former UAB star Carlos Williams, who wrapped up his outstanding career last year, averaged nearly 20 points and 10 rebounds a game for Murray Bartos Blazers. He made an NIT appearance last year and were knocked out in the opening round. Pershing produces some phenomenal basketball players. One to come out of there before Brown. Excuse me, Mitchell was uh, Steve Smith, who's now with the Atlanta, Atlanta Hawks. Detroit producing great, great basketball players. Willie Mitchell played on back-to-back -back state champions at Pershing High School. And we have a timeout. 7.50 left in this game. The Bearcats closing in on win number 20 if they can hold on to a 15-point lead. Our score, Cincinnati 71, UAB 56. 
Dan Hoyt and Anthony Buford back in Birmingham. Cincinnati trying to win here for the first time in six years. It's a 15-point lead with seven minutes and 50 seconds left. The Bearcats with the ball and that big lead. UAB going to full court pressure. Cincinnati couldn't break it. Bobby Brennan calls a 20-second timeout, and he called it one second short of a 10-second violation. A good timeout called by the senior. Absolutely, because in college basketball, now you get a fresh 10 seconds to get the basketball over the court. And uh, Bobby Brandon using his head right there calling the timeout. They gave out those Bob Huggins masks prior to the ball game tonight. They actually built this game, and this is what UAB built it as, not what I'm billing it as. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The good being UAB, the bad obviously you see, the ugly, well, that's what they uh, supposedly gave those masks out for. Don't forget, coming up soon, the Conference USA Tournament comes to the shoe. Tickets still available. 556 five, Cats, the number to call if you are interested. Patterson driving baseline, kicks it back to Brannon. Baker driving on Cobb, and Cobb pushing. Team foul number seven on UAB, and Dewan Baker will go to the line as a result. Well, Baker, he was able to knock down the one shot and, and draw the foul, regained his confidence, and now he's attacking the basket. And that's what he needs to do every time out on the floor is attack the basket and look to score because he's one of the scorers on this basketball team. Damon Cobb, a pre-med major who was the Conference USA Scholar Athlete of the Year last year, heading to the bench after picking up his third foul. Murray Barto bringing a couple of substitutes into the game. Dewan Baker at the line for Cincinnati. And the senior from Fort Worth, Texas, is a perfect two for two from the stripe tonight. Oh, Bearcats shooting extremely well from the free throw line. And you need to do that on the road, especially in a building like this, if you're gonna come out of here with, with a victory. UAB, on the other hand, struggling from the free throw line big time. Baker drops them both. He has five points all in the second half. Cincinnati has its biggest lead at 17. Look for Dixon to try and create something off the dribble. Ransom with a tough turnaround. The shot is no good. The foul will be on Reuben Patterson. That'll be number two on Reuben. Reuben Patterson played pretty solid defense there. He just put his hand down, and that's what drew the contact and the foul. And he put his hand straight up in the air. That would have been a, a very good defensive play. He forced a tough shot by Ransom. Ransom has had trouble from the line. He's one for three in the ball game, hitting 65% of his free throws this season. Wasn't even close on that attempt right there. The second one's good, but there was a foul on UAB on the play. I think Dwayne Brown picked up the foul right there. That's the second on Dwayne Brown. And Bobby Brannon, an 84% free throw shooter coming into the game, goes to the line to shoot the one and one. Bob hits one, he'll have another. He scored 15 points in tonight's game. Well, so far, the Bearcats have had the right players at the line, and those guys have delivered, knocking down the free throws in a tough place to shoot free throws. Cincinnati making 69% of its free throws as a team this season. It's interesting because a couple of the starters, Horton and Martin, are terrible free throw shooters, but the Bearcats have done a nice job of getting their best free throw shooters to the line in key situations this season. The two guys you just mentioned, Bobby Brannon and Dewan Baker. And absolutely, that's what you need to do, especially when you're on the road or you're in a close game. Keep the basketball in in the guys' hands who can make free throws, and the Bearcats have done that. It's one reason why Brandon handles the basketball, bringing it up the court. Kenyon Martin just picked up his fourth foul. It looks like Ryan Fletcher will come right back in. Jackson missing the free throw. Antonio Jackson with eight points. 
I think I put the kiss of death on Kenyon Martin tonight by talking about how he stayed out of foul trouble this season. He's missed <laughs> almost the entire second half because of fouls. Well, that's not your fault. He's played very tentative here in the second half, and you can't do that. Jackson missed both free throws, but Myron Ransom got the offensive rebound and scored on the putback. There's still a lot of time left in this game, and the Bearcats cannot get complacent and continue to let UAB dominate the offensive glass. Cincinnati up by 16. Patterson for three. A shot is no good. UAB will push it after the rebound by Dixon. Dixon with a nice pass to Brown, and he jams it home. Bearcats made a mistake right there as Patterson and Horton both attacked the basketball, the dribbler, and Dixon. As you see, Dixon draws both defenders, dishes off, and Brown comes in with the tomahawk dunk. After making the pass, it looked like Dixon's knee caught Michael Horton in the thigh, and he appears to have a Charlie horse as a result. He'll come out of the ball game, and Sean Myrick is in. This will hurt Cincinnati's ability to break the full court pressure. Bobby Brandon has to dribble it past the midcourt stripe. And there's a steal by Ransom. He lays it in. And the lead is down to 12. Six straight points for UAB. UAB right now still staying with it, still playing aggressive and going after, going after uh, Cincinnati. And right now, as you can see, Baker makes a soft pass. Ransom picks it off, goes in, and that shot right there has cut the lead down to 12. And could possibly get the crowd back into this game. Myrick, as you see, ran into the cameraman at full speed, and he is hurt behind the basket, just getting to his feet. We hope the photographer is okay, too. Well, right now, Cincinnati losing both of their guards, although Horton is back in the game to some small injuries. Huggins has switched Patterson up to the, to the front court to bring the basketball up. He's got Brown on him who should not be able to stay with him. Six minutes left in this game. Cincinnati's still up by 12, but it had been an 18-point lead. Bearcats need to pound the basketball down low. Patterson exploding past his man. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, that's the mismatch out on the court right now. The Bearcats running their offense until the ball gets into Patterson's hands, and he just takes Brown off the dribble. Brown unable to stay with Patterson with that quick first step. Brown picking up his third personal. Ruben with 30 points. That's a career high. And he's four for four from the line. The most points scored in any game by a UC player this year. 42 by Melvin Levitt against Eastern Kentucky. The game in which he set a new school record with 10 three-pointers. Patterson misses the second, and it's rebounded by Antonio Jackson. Moderate had his shot blocked. Patterson and Horton run the two-on-one break. Horton puts it up. The basket's good. He'll go to the line for the three-point play, and Horton has pumped in nine points in the second half. Well, Horton is just so creative in the open court as Patterson, Patterson just baited. The UAB player into the shot, blocks it, pitches it off to Horton, and he's just too strong when he's in the open court, head towards that basket with an assortment of moves. Cincinnati's lead at 16. Bearcats able to put a halt to the mini run that UAB was putting on them. Dixon loses it out of bounds. Looked like Dixon wanted to force up a shot. Bobby Brannon made that impossible, and Dixon threw it away. 5.26 left from Bartow Arena. Murray Bartow in danger of seeing his school's four-game home winning streak against Cincinnati come to an end. Our score, the Bearcats 79, the Blazers 63. Cincinnati looking to move back into a tie for first with UNC Charlotte in the American Division. Michael Horton having a big second half. Well, Michael Horton playing solid defense, 
And Patterson also playing solid defense creates a steal opportunity pitches it off to Horton and he's been phenomenal going to the basket scoring on a variety of layups very strong and that's his game and when he gets in the open court creates a lot of things for himself and his teammates and he's come up big here tonight. The most points he scored in a game this season is 12. He has 10 tonight but they've all come in the second half. He's capable of having big nights especially if you can get this if, if the Bearcats can stay in a full court game. He can really really be explosive. Cincinnati changed its press break a bit and uh, handled the UAB full court pressure with ease. Cincinnati shooting 64 percent here in the second half just dominating the blazer executing very well and getting whatever they want. Patterson with a fall away jumper does not get the roll and it's rebounded by Fred Williams. Ruben has 31 points tonight Cincinnati by 16 and that foul will be on Ryan Fletcher number four on Fletch. Let's take a look at our four game summary Cincinnati with six three pointers in this ball game. They all came in the first half UAB actually has a rebounding edge but Patterson has uh, offset anything UAB has tried to do with his 31 point effort. Absolutely Patterson coming up big tonight and that's one of the main reasons why the Bearcats are in the lead right now. Patterson has just been phenomenal basically unstoppable on the offensive end and playing great defense. Jackson has missed three straight free throws after making his first two. One interesting note about Cincinnati and I'd be willing to bet that UC is the only school in the country that can say this this year. Patterson tonight has become the fourth different Bearcat to have a 30 point game this season. Bobby Brannon's done it once. Dewan Baker's done it twice. Mel Levitt's done it twice. And now Reuben Patterson has done it. And that just shows you the versatility that this team has and scoring power. They've got four guys that can give you 30 points on any given occasion. And, and when you've got that type of, of offensive proficiency from your, from your guys, it makes you real difficult to guard and it makes it real difficult for teams to key on one person. Cincinnati has four players averaging 13 or more points a game as Patterson has 32 points now in this ball game. Coming in Ruben led the way with 16.1 followed by Brandon and Levitt at 15.5 and then Baker at 13.6. That's the balance you're talking about. And, and, and you know the beautiful thing about this team right here is they, they really could care less who scores 20 or 30 and, and actually they're probably very happy that Patterson has yeah. had a breakout game. You know you're exactly right. Normally I would completely agree but tonight you can bet that every person in that locker room wanted to see Reuben Patterson have the night of his life and he has with 32 points looking for more. Missed the shot and it's rebounded by Myron Ransom. As we mentioned earlier Reuben was notified of his mother's passing by Coach Huggins this morning and it's actually kind of a, a sad and, and poignant story. Coach Huggins went to his hotel room this morning and asked Reuben to follow him back to his hotel room and Reuben's first instinct was oh no what have I done now because he's had so many personal problems this year with a 14 game suspension and so forth and obviously when Reuben got to Coach Huggins room he received the awful news that his mother had passed away. He spent a couple of hours in Coach Huggins room then he went back to his own room and every member of the team at that point came by to hug him express their sympathies and and wish him the best in tonight's ball game after Reuben decided he would stay and play and boy it, it's been a, a heartbreaking day for Reuben Patterson but he said he wanted to dedicate this game to his mother's memory and boy has he uh, done that and more with a 32 point effort. Absolutely and, and I know everyone on the coaching staff and, and the players are truly truly happy for Reuben Patterson to have an evening like this. Jackson missed from point blank range Bobby Brandon with a rebound we don't have a, a rebound total for Bobby at the moment but we do know that he's in double figures and has his ninth double double this season. Solid game by Bobby and, and, and what's what you're seeing from the Bearcats now 
you're seeing them play together as a team and every guy stepping up his play and, and everybody delivering on 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 the same evening and when they do that they are extremely tough to play against and you need that kind of play as you wind the season down and you get into your conference tournaments and then the NCAA tournament Fletcher misses his first free throw attempt at the ball game Ryan with four points off the bench and getting back to Bobby Brandon, that last rebound was his 10th. So he has 16 points and 10 boards tonight. Again, his ninth double double. You know, Mick Cronin said to me on the bus on the way over here, he said he had a good feeling about this game because the last time we won down, or excuse me, UC won down here, I was on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so. I thought that was very interesting coming from Mick Cronin. Now at the risk of truly jinxing the Bearcats as Bass goes inside and can't score Kenyon Martin with a rebound and he's fouled by Myron Ransom who picks up his third in the two years that you have been broadcasting UC games you are yet to call a defeat. <laughs> yeah we, we've talked about that and, and I think my streak is maybe it'll go into the next season. I think we need to talk to Paul Keels and Chuck Mayshock about adding you to the radio team during the NCAA tournament. <laughs> it's all this guy's uh, it's all his credit that the Bearcats have uh, not lost a ball game that he has described. Kenyon Martin missing the free throw Kenyon 0 for 3 from the line in the ball game. Well, Kenyon Kenyon shot from the free throw line is 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 very flat. He has a low trajectory on his shot and, and Huggins is telling him to shoot the basketball up and then out. Good advice. Kenyon with three points in the game Cincinnati with a 17 point lead with about three and a half minutes to go. Cobb launching a three pointer and hitting nothing but net Damon Cobb has hit three three pointers in the game and has 10 points. That's something that Cobb can do. He can light it up beyond the arc. Patterson a little slow getting out on him and he drains the three like it's a layup. A whistle away from the ball and the foul is on number 22 Fred Williams of UAB his third. Kenyon Martin will go to the line. We'll see if Kenyon Martin can first go up and then out into a shot. Two in a row for Kenyon. Leading the conference in block shots with 48, including one tonight. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Williams. Shot no good. Bobby Brandon has rebound number 11. Cobb knocks that one out of bounds. Patterson trying to alley oop to Mel Levitt. Perhaps not the best time to be trying that with Cincinnati up by 15 with about two and a half minutes to go. Well, you, you really don't need a, a play like that in this particular situation, but had Patterson executed the pass. It would have been another highlight another highlight uh, piece for his for Levitt's uh, highlight reel. <laughs> we might have to edit the helicopter's top five Dixon for three. Well that might fit Mel Levitt's favorite rebounds as he went up <laughs> and over everybody to pull that one in. Well, he's something to watch when he when he explodes off the floor whether it's a dunk or a rebound or a jump shot in the lane. Another foul on Fred Williams number four on the junior who attended Spartanburg Methodist College for the past couple of years. Levitt heading to the line and this will be Melvin's first trip to the charity strike tonight. He has eight points. They all came in the first half. And I just saw a, a moment with Horton and Patterson that that really shows you how these guys feel about Horton excuse me about Patterson at this particular time 
as uh, Patterson and Horton were shaking hands and congratulating one another. Horton reaches down and slaps Patterson's shoes in, a, in an effort to, to say way to play. Mel Levitt in double figures now with 10 points. Four Bearcats in double figures in this game, led by Patterson's 32. Horton with a steal, puts it up. Forget the basket, Mel Levitt interfered with it. He just uh, cost his buddy Michael Horton a bucket as he slammed home a layup that was going in. Yeah, and he cost Horton a, a career high. <laughs> that would have been Horton's 11th and 12th point as he just plays the lane perfectly. And that really should have been an intentional foul, an open court foul like that. Levitt comes in, dunks in the rebound. It becomes a two shot foul situation for Michael Horton. And he makes the first. He's three for three from the line in this game. Uh, yeah, and that and had that basket counted, that would have been his been his 13th point and a new career high. He is able to equal his career high set in the road game at DePaul with 12 points. And in this game, they've all come in the second half. That pass thrown away by UAB and Cincinnati gets the ball with 2.03 remaining. Well, UAB right now just, just falling apart, not really executing in an effort to try and rush the basketball up the court without any time running off and committed a turnover. Cincinnati with 87 points on the board tonight, easily the most they have scored in this building where traditionally the Bearcats and Blazers have played very low scoring games. And a lot of that has been because the Bearcats have not shot the basketball very well from outside and, and they allowed UAB to sit back in the zone and, and make the game slow. But the Bearcats came out on fire, knocking down three pointers, and they, that quickened the game immediately. Four seconds left on the shot clock as Levitt launches. The shot is no good. Contact underneath. And the foul is on Myron Ransom of UAB. His fourth. And Kenyon Martin will go to the line to shoot. A two shot situation with UAB in the super bonus. The Bearcats have just been phenomenal here tonight. Shooting the basketball and really executing their offense very well. And, and the Bearcat coaching staff has got to be really happy with with their team's play tonight as, as they're getting better at the right time of the year. Reuben Patterson has just come out of the ball game for Cincinnati. He's getting hugs from his teammates and coaches on the Bearcat bench. And congratulations on a job well done. A career high 32 points for senior Reuben Patterson. And Cincinnati has its biggest lead at 21. Jump ball situation there. UAB will get it thanks to the possession arrow. Well, here are the final numbers for Reuben Patterson. 32 points on 12 of 21 shooting, including three three-pointers. His first three buckets of the game were trays. He had seven rebounds in the game, topping his uh, previous career high for scoring by five points. That man brought... Brought the real package tonight and played a great game for the Bearcats as the scoring and rebounding doesn't show the major impact that the, that Patterson had on this game. Kenyon Martin scores. Martin up to eight points in the ball game now. It's 91 to 70, UC. And we're down to the last minute. Sabovich, count the bucket. That's goaltending on Kenyon Martin. Pages Sabovich. A freshman from Croatia has scored back-to-back -back buckets. And I had the same angle as the official, and it, that block looked good to me. This is John Carson and John Travel. <laughs> John Carson saw wide open lane to the basket, got a little excited, couldn't control the feet. Cobb will launch for three. Savovic with the rebound. Savovic with the turnaround. And a foul on UAB.
I believe it's on Damon Cobb, and if that's the case, it's his fourth. Actually, it was on Myron Ransom, and it's his fourth. Well, after his early struggles from the line, Kenyon has made four out of his last, or make that five out of his last six. And, and that right there shows you it's just a matter of concentration. Once you know exactly what to do, concentrate on shoot him the same time same way every time double figures for Kenyon now with 10 points five Bearcats and double figures in this game Brent Petrus is into the ball game along with walk on Alex Meacham Savovich to Moderich Keja Moderich hitting the three pointer it's 94 to or 93 to 74. Petrus to Carson, rejected out of bounds by Ransom. <laughs> Carson shouting, me, me. He wanted that basketball bad, running really hard in the lane, and Petrus feeds him. <laughs> Just a little too small. Gets his shot wiped into the stands. Moderich steals it from Brannon, and Bass will throw one down. Cincinnati still up by 17. We're down to five seconds. Martin launches. The shot's no good, but it certainly doesn't matter. Reuben Patterson leading the way with 32 points as Cincinnati ends a stretch of four games of frustration in this facility, winning here for the first time in six years. Beating UAB by 17. Well, the Bearcats were just a little bit too much for UAB tonight as, as Patterson brought the whole package. Defense, offense, and they took over. We'll be back with our Dodge player of the game in just a moment. The final score, Cincinnati 93, UAB 76.